We need to talk about kid activity kits at weddings because <laughs> I got a bone to pick with some of them, okay? If you're new here, hey, my name is Jamie, your online wedding planner, and I am here to help you crack this code called wedding planning. And if you are in the throes of it, if you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, I highly encourage you to become a member of the master plan where I literally get to be your online wedding planner. I walk you through all the steps. I answer your questions in live time once a month. I've got you covered. So if you're interested, check it out right here. But let's talk about these activity kits. Okay, because most of you know this, I'm a mom, I'm a mom of three, and uh, when I look at these things online, I'm like, what, who planned these things? There are things that I would not want my children to have, there are things that you don't want my children to have, and there are things that honestly my kids just aren't interested in, in a lot of these boxes, and a lot of these do look like a lot of fun. But I think that sometimes consulting an actual parent in some of this could be a little bit helpful before passing out something like, I don't know, slime to someone's child at your wedding. So we decided to put together one of our own. And by we, I mean I called in some experts on this. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. First stop, where are we, Isabella? Uh, dollar section. Dollar section. <laughs> LED bubble flying saucer. That sounds like a nightmare at a wedding. <laughs> but these are kind of fun, especially for a dollar. What do you think, sunglasses for a dollar? That'd be cool. Yeah. What do you think, bud? Do you like these? They're just black, though. You want to see if I can find? Some? Okay, I'll see if I can find something cooler. Ooh, here's blue light glasses. They're cool. So it's like clear glasses. No. Oh, oh dear. Pineapple glasses. Ooh yeah. You want to put those in the cart, baby? Yeah. Okay. For me because oh. I love pineapple. <laughs> 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 this is all your fault. All right, I'm still grabbing the aesthetically pleasing ones though, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. Mommy just can't. That's, those are fun though. Actually, this is kind of nice because it's reusable afterwards. And it's only $5. They have these currently, they're too deep. Those are cool, but we don't need a shelf. We definitely don't want anything faulty. Absolutely not. We're looking for not noisy things. I know. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yes, for the dance floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, will you put oh, that in there, please. Kids would love that. <laughs> We're gonna pass on this because that makes a mess. We're gonna pass on this. A lot of them have this in there, but as a mom, I know how messy that gets. And as a wedding planner, I would not want to clean that up. Show me. Too noisy. Well, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's quieter than quiet a few of the other things. And it's the Fun for all ages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was, I'd, I'd probably steal that. I know. <laughs> they also have these fantastic activity kits. Well, maybe not that one. That's a little scary for children. Okay. They have fantastic activity kits. That's upside down. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Um, where they're magnets. So this is definitely for an older kid. This would not work as well for a toddler. <laughs> but they've got one on sea creatures, butterflies, Let's see, what's another one I grabbed? I've got one about bugs. So it depends on the kid that you're looking for. But between this little looper fidget toy and one of these, both of which are $3, these could be an awesome option. All right, again, this is super cool, right? It's just like a molding sandy, almost like kinetic sand, but this would be a nightmare to clean up, either for the parent or for the people who do the cleanup at your venue. So unless you're using these as a proposal, right? Like if you're asking the kid to be a part of your wedding party, then you can get these for sure. The mom might hate you a little bit, but you can get them. But if you're gonna have these as activity kits at your wedding, do not use these. Wait, what are, the, what are these? Did Infinite you see these? Possibilities. Wait, these are so fun. And they're a dollar. My word is infinite think? possibilities. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, I wanna get this too. <laughs> Crap these are for all ages. <laughs> they're little building blocks. Oh, nice. So you can create stuff out of them. Cool. So I came to do a check on the just container aisle in general with all the baskets. And there are some super, super cute ones that I find way more aesthetically pleasing, right? Like this is $8. It's $3 more than the black basket that I have. But it's a lot bigger, so it needs to be filled with more. Um, and let's be honest, this would be more of a gift for the mom than it would be for the child. Because it's not going to stay white <laughs> if you give this to a kid. So if you wanted to do something that was a lot more aesthetic and on point, Definitely venture down the uh, basket aisle. Three dollars more is not that big of a deal, but that one is much larger. So even though you know, cost per size, 
that one's a better deal. I'm gonna stick with the one we already got from the dollar section. All right, tons of really cool options, but I think I'm just gonna opt for this one. Now there are options for colored pencils, like these ones are 75 cents, they're on sale right now. But I would not want to give colored pencils to a young child. You know, kind of a sharp object. So that's why we're opting for crayons. I did see quite a few kits with like activities um, that required either glue stick or a bottle of glue. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> because if I'm not watching my five-year-old like a hawk, that's getting on something. Last but not least, this, these are gonna be a lot more expensive, right? But this is, in my opinion, non-junky thing that you're giving the mom. You know what I mean? Like everything else is disposable. It's probably not gonna last very long. You know, it's just, it's something to keep the kid busy, right? But adding something like this on there is really intentional and it's an actual tangible gift that they can use afterwards and we need to customize it a little bit because I just can't help myself. I think I'm gonna offer one of the stainless steel ones instead just to kind of avoid all the extra stuff in the plastics and because I'm actually gonna give this to my son afterwards, so. We just got home and he's already playing with it. But that's so awesome. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna build the purple stuff inside of it. That sounds like a great idea. And the puddle be made. So here are all the things that we ended up picking up yesterday. You will notice that this is not neutral. You wanna know why? Because kids don't want tan things. And as much as that breaks my heart, cause I love neutral or aesthetically pleasing things, that's not exciting for a child. My children picked out literally every single thing that is in this basket. They were drawn to color, they were drawn to vibrancy, and they could not care less about any sort of cool aesthetic that I was trying to put together. They wanted kid things. But you'll notice that one thing's missing. Why would we have crayons in a box without something to color? I made a coloring book. <laughs> Look at it, how stinking fun is this? We partnered with this incredible caricature artist named Scarlett Bailey. We absolutely love her. We had her over on the Union Podcast. She is a delight. And she helped us put together this super fun and really interactive coloring book. And it's called Will You Join the Wedding Fun? An interactive book for the little humans in your wedding party. So you can use this as a proposal gift for a little kid because the storyline leads up to the big day. Or you can use it as an activity book on your wedding day as well. But if you want just a proposal book, we made one of those too. <laughs> and this one we have already colored in for the kiddos. We would like a Lisa Frank style, really vibrant rainbow colors, things that kids actually want to look at, to read and to interact with. Now, of course, there are other proposal books and coloring books and or coloring downloads that you can get for children on the market. But when I looked over them, I realized I would never buy those for my children. I just never would. They were way more like wedding specific and way less catered to the actual kid themselves, which is why we made this intentionally whimsical and fun for a child to experience. There is nothing wrong with aesthetically pleasing. You guys know I love a good neutral. Hello, I'm like wearing black 90% of the time on this channel, but kids love color. And that's why we made the books look like this because they're for the kids. Not me being so ridiculously excited about this coloring book that I didn't even actually tell you where you could buy it. I'll have it linked right up here in the video and the description box below. We are selling it on Amazon. And if you guys do end up purchasing this, I would so appreciate a five star review letting me know how the proposal went or how it went for the kids at your wedding day using this coloring book. And please feel free to attach photos and videos. I would just love to see kids using this on your wedding day. Okay, now back to the video. So as you're putting together these activity kits, remember it's for a child. Who would probably have way more fun with something neon orange than they would grayish. Okay, now if you're gonna go out and recreate this yourself, I'm gonna call attention to a couple of things real quick. Here's what you're not gonna see of any kind. Wrappers. No, I even took the sunglasses out of the wrapper because this, during your toasts, not a vibe. Whatever you put in here, make sure you remove the packaging that could make noise as it's being opened. The second thing that you're not gonna see in this activity kit, and with good reason, with good reason, is any sort of kinetic sand, silly putty, slime, or Play-Doh. Cause that gets stuck to things like, like in hair and stuff. Slime is not allowed in this house ever. Nor will you see any sort of food and or candy. Uh, first of all, you don't know what dietary restrictions this child might have. Second of all, if you give my child red 40, you are responsible for the results. Okay. Okay. You will also not see any sort of fluffy crinkled paper. Would that make this look better? Yeah. -huh. Do you really want to give that to a four year old at your venue? Nah. No, just keep it simple. 
they're not going to care if it's setting up half an inch higher because it's nestled in a bed of crinkled recycled paper. They don't care at all, and neither do their parents, because then they'll be finding little itty bitty bits of recycled paper in their minivan for the next two and a half months. So, for children, keep it colorful, keep it simple, and keep it to stuff they're actually gonna like. Of course, something like this, the little tiny building blocks, not appropriate for a small toddler who still puts stuff in their mouth, okay? Okay. <laughs> but for like my five-year-old, this is perfect. He actually played with it when we got home last night. He went to bed with it, and it was the first thing he was playing with when he got up this morning. As well as the glow sticks, you're gonna wanna be mindful of the kid that you give those to, right? <laughs> is that good, good dicey? Um, this could also probably bro be broken up because it has 62 pieces. You could actually probably take this out and put it in multiple activity kits if you chose to do so, or, or give it to one kid and they could be responsible for passing those out on the dance floor. Do you know how much power that gives a child to be in control of all the glow sticks? <laughs> Infinite power. I am so excited to have these as an offering for you guys and for the kids in your wedding party because as a mom, I wanted to make sure that we were creating something that kids would actually enjoy. How about you guys? Are you having any kids in your wedding party? Are you inviting any kids? Or are you going kid free? Let me know in the comments down below as well as how excited you are for the coloring book. Okay, and until next time, bye guys. Okay. What is this? Remember how we picked all this stuff up yesterday? Yeah. It's for you. Is this actually for me? It's all for you. What's this say? I don't know. <laughs> Did you put this? I put that on there just for you. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, bud. But, uh, I wanna open You wanna open that? Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.